Hi gang, Comic Book Man here That's with MMA News. The MMA News, which I can care less about, but Bo loves it, so that's why we do it. It's really, really cool. It's really, really cool, because like people actually hurt each other You'll in the ring for $10,000, which is stupid. It's bum fights on steroids, that's all it is. <laughs> It's bum fights getting hey, paid ten grand to beat each other up. Those bums didn't get paid anything. Uh, anyway, shave. MMA news, which, 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 even though I'm not crazy about it, you can still see on the website www.myalternatereality.com. He ponies it up. I put it up. I don't know what the hell it is, but I put it up anyway. He posted it. I don't even know what it is. We're doing I, ballet news next week. I so, could, I could say it's about pigs flying around with cheese in their butts. First up, yeah. first up is 815, the Strike Force show. Strike Force show, 815, the next big show. Uh, they now have three, count them, three main events. They've got... How many? Three. Alistair Overeem versus Fabricio Wardoom. They've got Josh Thompson versus Gil Melendez. And the fight that everyone really, really gives Ooh. a crap about. Jesus Gina versus Carano versus Chris Cyborg for the women's title. Both women promise they're going to make weight because they got weight issues. It's two. It's <laughs> one hot chick and one scary-looking chick. Beating the crap, beating out, the of crap out of each right. other. Right. Is Jello involved? Alan? No Jello involved. No, nothing fun. No nothing fun. Jello involved. Uh, Lavar Lavar Johnson. Lavar Johnson, Johnson, who also fights for Strike Force. He uh, had a little problem <coughs> over the Fourth of July weekend. He was at a family reunion, and some guy walked down the street and decided to take a couple shots at him. He took a couple bullets, but he's uh, he's recovering right now. Hey, Lavar, word of advice. Move to a better neighborhood, or or stop getting the crap beat out of you for ten thousand a fight, and get a get a contract with Vince, who'll pay you ten times that much to pretend you get thrown around in the ring. It was Bakersfield. Bakersfield's cool. Move on. You're living in a lousy neighborhood. If you're getting shot at seven times over the Fourth of July, get out. You're living in a lousy neighborhood. Tito Ortiz. Tito, the Huntington Beach bad boy, says his doctors have cleared him from his back surgery. He's probably going to work on a deal with Strike Force, CBS, and Showtime to get a fight together by October. That should help his back. Yeah, it'll help his back. Yeah. He's also married to Jenna Jameson, so they're watching the kids and they're, and they're training as well. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, who used to wrestle, who I cared about when he wrestled. Nah, since he left. He was a dork anyway. But what's Brock up to? Brock Lesnar's fighting, uh, actually this will be posted by Saturday, he's fighting at <coughs> UFC 100. Uh, he is the main event. Got a hundred of those things? They're up to a hundred. It's a massively large packed show. Give me five grand. With celebrities <laughs> galore. It's gonna go crazy. Uh, they're also gonna announce a new Oxygon Girl uh, that that day. And uh, there was supposed to be a free Limp Biscuit show at UFC 100 in the Mandalay Bay. Limp Biscuit said we had a problem with uh, licensing agreements. Also, the UFC wanted them to play at the Mandalay Bay pool. Now, it's a really big pool, but they were like, we don't do pool shows, dude. <laughs> So they're going to be doing a show somewhere in the area, somewhere in Las Vegas. They wanted to play at the House of Blues in the Manly Bay. They said no, but UFC 100 will not have Limp Biscuit. They won't be around. They won't be in there. UFC best matches in history. What were the best? They had 100 matches, so there must be something there. They had 100 matches. It's being run on Spike right now. <coughs> oh. Best 100 matches. Although there's really something unusual about these 100 matches because people who UFC doesn't like, Frank Shamrock, Tito Ortiz, their matches are only on the top 100 if those are matches in which they lost. Matches in which they won were not allowed in the top 100. So we're on Spike TV right now. In fact, it's going to be kind of weird. The top, the last episode of this will be running exactly the same time as UFC 100. So you can watch UFC 100 or you can watch a show on Spike. Brilliant marketing move, Dana. <coughs> didn't work out. Didn't make a lot of sense. He came up with a new octagon girl, though. Yes, there'll be a new octagon girl. New octagon girl. We covered that already. We, we just did? did it a couple minutes ago. Oh, okay. Man, well, I'm not paying you I, need you, think I, you think I pay any attention? Man. What are you, hey, here's what I hear. We're going to finish this up, boys and girls, with a story about UFC WEC 43, which will be here. here. Alternate at the, reality? At the, well, no. At the USC Pavilion. Oh. It'll be at the USC Pavilion. Uh, there'll be a fight there between Donald Cowboy Cerrone and Ben Henderson for the uh, lightweight belt, even though the current lightweight champion, Jeff Curran, <laughs> like still video. has his belt. <laughs> Sounds like a gay video. Well, uh, you want to go to that? Huh? You want to try to go to that? I might try to go to that thing because it's at the Pavilion. Yeah, it's going to be kind of yeah. cool. It's a WEC show. I went to the first UFC show here, and it was actually pretty cool. It was pretty nice. And for the first time in a while, there weren't any fights in the stands. It was kind of nice. It was cool. <laughs> But they're going to be doing this show here. It's going to be live on Versus. It's a Saturday night show. I think it's like sometime in September or October. But we're getting a big, big, huge, massive pay-per-view thing. Well, not even pay-per-view because it's free. Because Versus doesn't want to charge people for this thing. Okay, well, that's it. We're done. We're out of here. That's the end of, uh, that's of all MMA News. So now. until next for time, now. this is Comic Book Man <laughs> saying... So long! Bye! And don't go yet! <laughs>
Remember the end of Rocky Three? 